Hi there and assalamu alaikum. Today's video is an introduction of Adobe XD. Adobe XD is the prototyping tool for user experience and interaction designers. So it's basically used for creating wireframes, prototypes and screen designs for digital products such as websites and mobile apps. So let's get started. This is the welcome screen of Adobe XD in which you can find certain presets to choose from but what we're interested in is the web 1920 by 1080 or the setting better known as full HD so let's select it. So this is our document where we'll start working to create a low fidelity prototyping. It's a quick and easy way to translate high level design concepts into tangible and testable artifacts. Its uh, most important role is to check and test functionality rather than the visual appearance of the product. First of all, let's save the document. So go to File and Save. And I'll name it to Demo V1 for version 1. It's always better to assign version numbers like 1.1 or 1.2 for minor changes like spelling and punctuations and for major changes we can always name it as version 2, 3, 4 and so on and hit save. Let's double click on the page name to change it so I'll change it to home page for now. Let's check the layout option on the right to reveal column numbers and column width. You can even change the layout to square grid which is particularly used for mobile or app design so I'm going to stick to layout for now. I'm going to change the column number to 1 and uh, column width to 1366 pixels. Now the reason I'm choosing 1366 is because whenever you go to any site Mostly you'll find some sort of padding on the right and left of the actual contents. So instead of using the entire 1920 pixels, uh, it is always better to stick to 1366 as it is the most commonly used screen resolution at this point. Earlier it was 1280 by 1024 and the world is slowly progressing towards 1920 by 1080. Uh, however, at the moment, the vast majority still uses 1366 by 768. So let's pick that width. Right below our column width, the number 277 is the padding on either side of our content. So if you add 277 twice plus 1366, it will sum up to 1920 pixels. So I'm going to make this my default setting by clicking on the make default button sitting at the bottom. And I think I'll change the background color as well. So let's click on the button next to columns to reveal the column color. And let me pick a color from here. And I think I need to turn the opacity down to something lighter. Now to zoom in, use the zoom tool from the left and click to zoom in. To zoom out, you need to hold Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and click and it will zoom out. You can even use the shortcut Command and plus sign to zoom in and Command and minus sign to zoom out for Mac users. For Windows, it is Control plus to zoom in and Control minus to zoom out. You should be able to move the screen holding spacebar and clicking and dragging and it will become easier for you to navigate. So using the select tool, let's click on the artboard to select it and drag it from the bottom if you need to add more content, much like on a website where you keep scrolling down for more content. Now you see that blue perforated line on the screen, that's how much content you should be able to see from top on a screen as per 1920 by 1080 pixels. As you can see on the right, the viewport height is mentioned as 1080 pixels because that's what we chose. However, since we've planned to set the content as per 1366 by 768 pixels, we'll change this setting to 768 pixels on the right and you will see that reflecting on the screen. I think that should be all for now as I just wanted to talk about the basics of low fidelity wireframing and wanted to walk you through the screen and certain settings 
we'll dive deeper in the next XD lesson with you, so I hope you've enjoyed the video and have learned something new from it. So, I'm gonna see you in the next one pretty soon. Signing off. Thank you.